guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. I should have my camera fixed, but shit, shake around is bad, but no promises. Uh, so, in this episode, we're gonna pick our starter. This is officially part one, because that other part didn't even deserve a title. It was more just basically introduction to the game. So now we have ourselves a Cinequil, and I do want to nickname it. I'm gonna nickname it Enigma, because that's what it is. It is an Enigma. Um, plus, that's what I've nicknamed my starter. My very first starter I had in this game, I nicknamed it Enigma. So, um, that's like in my original silver version, which was, that was the nickname of my, uh, Fraligator I, I picked. But like I said, t um, this one is my personal favorite of the three, but my favorite typing as far as starters are concerned is water. Um, I've, if you've looked at my other walkthroughs, I have picked a water type Pokemon all the way around. Um, even on Pokemon Ruby, I picked a water type. So, um, yeah, this should reduce the camera shaking because my foot was on. That's why I was shaking last time. And I was going from top to bottom screen, which does not work for me. So, there you go. Um, I practically have my Nintendo taped down to the, to the table that I'm using to, to film so that so not, so nothing like wobbles around while I'm trying to do this. And the table it's on is not very steady either, so... But yeah, if you didn't see the last part, I suggest you check that out. That will explain why I am doing this over again. Um, but we're going to come up here. And this up here is Professor Elm's actual part of his library he lives, which I think is pretty cool. Um, too bad we can't quite um, run yet, because that'd be ever so convenient, but of course not. And also, in this game, your Pokemon follow you around so you can turn back and talk to them. Oh, that's, that's kind of sad. But, let's see what you have to say. Alright, so... I'm not gonna go into these houses too much. Um, yeah, you can't leave until you see your mom. So yes, the Poke Gear is something that's actually made a comeback, and yes, I remember how to make a phone call, I know how to text, uh, too, so if you need, you know, just kidding, you can't text on these phones, but you can make phone calls, however. So, um, I'm filming this at night, but the wild Pokemon in the area are Hoot Hoot, Sentret, and Rattata. Wait one second. So, yep, I'm going to just Professor Elm. And he said he'll call me if anything comes up. Well, thanks, for the, thanks for the memo. But I think I'll be alright. Uh, yep. So your first, first wild encounter I'll show. And it's actually a Sentret. Which was actually a Pokemon I was considering for my team. But, um, I'll go ahead and... Um, fight it, but if you don't know how to fight on the bottom screen, you have um, your two moves, and then you have fight, bag, run, and Pokemon. I'm just gonna run from it, but um, if you if you had a Pokedex at this point in the game, it would count towards your Pokedex. Now, why does my camera keep moving like that? Hang on, give me a sec. I'm gonna fix that. That's driving me nuts. There, that should be a little bit better. Uh, maybe it won't m wobble around as much, and then you won't, and it won't go off the, and it won't go off screen as much. So, um, yep, I'm very pumped about this walkthrough. Actually, this was one of my all-time favorite games. I love second-generation Pokemon. Alright, so that should be... I was testing that to see if I had the camera zoomed in too far or not, but I don't. Oh my god, the edges are driving me nuts. It's probably because this, the, 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 this is a widescreen camera, and I have it on a 4.3 setting you know, regular, so that's probably why it's doing that, but, um, if you've got yourselves a, a wild Pidgey here, and 
From now on, I'll cut out any and all wild fights. I'll have 50 scenes to edit, but I'd rather have 50 scenes to edit than 15, 15 minutes just taking up doing pointless crap. And I do like how YouTube's new 15 minute time limit uh, for videos, too. Oh, God. They're killing me. Okay. Um, this is probably a very important video. Like I said, the first few videos are probably going to be just informational stuff that you already know. Um, if you've played second, gen if you've played this second generation games, then you're going to know all this stuff. I've actually played re and recently beaten Heart Gold, and I've used a team similar to the one I'm going to use on Soul Silver, except I started with. Totodile, so I had a, I had a Fralligator instead of a Typhlosion, and um, but the team I'm going to use is very very similar. Um, there we go. So now, if you look on the bottom screen, you can see your running shoes, and you don't even have to press B anymore to use them. They're automatically you just touch them, they're automatically set. So, um, for the for the sake of this walkthrough, I'm going to go inside the Pokemon Center. Um, in here, you can heal your Pokemon and use the computer, and um, you can trade and battle and stuff up there. And if you come down here, once it's open, you can use uh, you can access the N N Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to battle and trade with people across the, across the globe. Next is the Pokemon Mart. You can come in here and buy items. The more gym badges you have, um, the more stuff you can buy. And you can see what you can buy on the bottom screen in the description on the top. As you can see, I can I can only buy potions, paralyzed heals, and antidotes at the moment. But the more gym badges you get, the more uh, the more items you'll be able to buy. Um, you can sell anything you want at the Pokemon for half the price of what you bought it for. And this guy's gonna come back up here. And you now got the map card loaded on your Poke Gear. I'll do a, a little separate video on how to use the Poke Gear and what that's all about and stuff. And also the Poke Walker and um, other things as well. So this walkthrough really won't really won't be complete to do a complete um, walkthrough of both regions of this game because it's got the, both the Kanto and Johto regions in it. Um, so yep, there's a Pidgey and. The first few videos, I'm going to show the wild fights for the sake of the walkthrough, but after the fourth or fifth video, I probably won't be showing them, in, showing them anymore. I have to talk to this guy. Alright, so that's a pretty good tip. I'm going to come in here. And... So glad the YouTube minutes now extended to 15 minutes because I would not be able to get to Mr. Pokemon's house in this up in this episode if it weren't for that. Um, there's water over here. You can surf when you get when you get surf, and we'll come, we'll explore all the water at one time as well. Um, oh, I forgot to cut this one out. Oh well. Um, if I was pressed for time, like if the YouTube time limit was still 10 minutes, I probably would cut that out, but oh well. Um, over here, you can find an antidote. And free items, you've got to love them. Okay, that's pretty good info. Not gonna argue with that logic. Um, oh my god, I forgot that this is like you're choosing your battle here. Yeah, I was actually able to cut that while I thought that was just a little, that was just a weedle in my way. Um, oh yeah, there's a little patch of grass up here that will make your life a lot easier if you avoid it. And um, Mr. Pokemon's house is right here, and he'll be like, "Oh my God, OMG, you're Dawn." Or, OMG, I'm Dawn. Should I say? I'm gonna do some training in between between the video, get my starter up to level seven before the next before the next part comes out. 
Um, once again, I'm sorry about having to um, redo this walkthrough so many times, but you can um, you can get the mystery egg here, and we'll figure out what that contains later. And he gets his own special music. How pimp is this? That's awesome. I absolutely love Second Generation, and I'm so happy whenever I heard they were making remakes of it. I was really, really happy. But my favorite game of all time was uh, Pokemon Gold. So I got I got Heart Gold before Soul Silver. But I did a walkthrough for Soul Silver because I like because I do like Lugia better than Ho. But or at least for competitive reasons, and I also do like this this po these ex the, these exclusives a lot better than the ones on Heart Gold, anyways. So I think we're gonna end this video off here before I get too off track. I'm gonna answer this phone call real quick. All right. Well, we'll go see what what Professor um, Elma wanted in the next part of in the next part of my Soul Silver walkthrough. Um, so be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll catch you all next time when we come back for more Pokemon Soul Silver. Be well, and be well, and until then.